Hello everyone and welcome to the North Catalyst video cast Unplugged in 99 seconds and I'm your host Aval Sethi Today I'm going to share some thoughts on negotiation skills Key qualities of a good negotiator which include personality traits, characteristics and attributes Success and failure often depends on our ability to negotiate Great deals have been won and lost over a single person's skill to handle a negotiation well. It's a reality that we use negotiation every day in every walk of our life. And trust me, if you can handle that well, life is a smooth journey. When I think about negotiations, the first thought that comes to my mind is, why negotiate? Now, if you actually think about it, uh, as you negotiate with the opposing party and you meet them over a period of time again and again, what actually translates is that it helps you to build better relationships. Now, as you build those relationships with the opposing party, you are able to then freely brainstorm and discuss ideas, problems, challenges and arrive at solutions and therefore what you get or what you deliver are lasting and quality solutions. And not just that, but because you've brainstormed, you've ideated and you've arrived at quality solutions, it also helps you avoid future problems as well as conflicts. Now, when we look at some key qualities of a good negotiator, the first and foremost are the personality traits. There are certain aspects of personality that stand out when you look at a good negotiator. The first one is a win-win orientation. A good negotiator will not or will never try to maximize a deal in their own favor, but will always work towards a win-win solution where the opposing party wins as well as the negotiator wins. The second aspect is that he is well aware of the environment and the ecosystem that he's operating in. And the third one is that a good negotiator has to be very creative because he has to come up with a good quality and an optimum solution and has to really think out of the box. The second aspect when we look at the characteristics or the character traits the one thing that stands out is the honesty. A good negotiator has to be honest, has to be forthcoming with the opposing party. He has to have flexibility of mind and he has to be again very conscious in dealing with uh, the opposing party. He has to have great preparation and planning skills. He must understand and should be knowledgeable of the subject that is being negotiated. He should have the ability to think very clearly and rapidly under pressure and uncertainty. He should be able to express thoughts with clarity. Not just that, he should have great listening skills, high level of judgment and general intelligence. He should have patience because he will have to sit through a number of meetings a number of discussions and he has to maintain a certain decorum. He has to have patience, but also he should be decisive in the approach in whatever discussions are undergoing. He should also be aware of the process and the style of the other person and is flexible about solutions coming in from the other person. He thinks and talks about possibilities possible areas of agreements that could be arrived with the opposing party. Now, there are also certain key attributes of a successful negotiator. Insight and perspective of the big picture, as well as the ability to pay attention to and prioritize the details is one of the key attributes that a good negotiator should have. He should also have the ability to generate creative options if the option on the table doesn't work, then what are the other alternates? 
What's the best possible solution that they could use to move forward? Is there anything else that they've forgotten to look at? Treating others with dignity and respect at all times is also a very, very critical attribute. I've seen in my life a number of negotiators who started shouting and yelling at the opposing party or trying to force their way through with the opposing party. But that's not what a good negotiator would do. Know and understand your own strengths and your weaknesses. There could be certain technical discussions where you don't understand. You may need to involve other stakeholders into that discussion. So understand where you're strong, what you can uh, discuss and certain areas which you have no clue about and you need outside support. And lastly is prepare, prepare and prepare. You can't win unless you are completely in the know-how you have full knowledge of what you are negotiating about. There are certain decision-making tools that are available or are at the disposal of a good negotiator. And there are circumstances under which a good negotiator would use either some or one of these decision-making tools. The first one is persuasion. And it's usually the first method that a good negotiator would choose. And it is useful when interests or opinions are similar. The second one is giving in. Now sometimes it's just not worth continuing if the cost is too high. And that's a judgment that a good negotiator would make on the spot and would sometimes really give in and agree to the viewpoint of the opposing party. The third aspect is coercion which is that this could simply be stating your opinions. It could also be gentle reminders or unspecified consequences. Now that normally comes when the negotiator is in a commanding position. Uh, when he understands that the opposing party whose products or services are being sold uh, depends largely upon that deal and therefore he will use coercion. And then lastly is also a problem solving approach, which works well when both the parties have a strong and a trusting relationship, which is built over a period of time. Keep tuning in and keep watching my videos and like, share and subscribe to the North Catalyst YouTube channel.